Yeah, good day everyone. You're welcome to SMD Executive Academy. Uh, in this video, we'll, we'll be dealing with this topic, specific its capacity. And there is a question here on the board which we'll be solving from the Y physics past question. Here the question goes thus. Find the quantity of heat. Find the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of 500 gram of copper from 16 degrees Celsius to 116 degrees Celsius. Now we have it in brackets. Given that, assuming the specific heat capacity of copper is 400 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. Now, what we need to do in this topic is this. Because first thing we need to do is to write our data. Write your data out so you can know what you have been given. Now, the first thing we are given is we are given the mass of copper. So the mass of copper is written as mass of copper is equals to 500 gram. Now, the 500 gram, which is the unit... The gram is the unit of mass. And what we need to do first is to convert our gram to kilogram. So which is the standard unit of mass. So converting gram to kilogram, what we need to do is divide that 500 by 1,000. Or you multiply that 500 by 10 raised to power minus 3. So when we have this, when we divide this now, what do we have left? We'll be having 0 0.5 kilogram. So the mass of copper given in this question is, is 0 0.5 kilogram. So we're given... 0 0.5 kilogram indirectly from the mass given to be 500. Also, we're given the temperature of copper from 16 degrees Celsius to 116 degrees Celsius. Now, the standard unit of temperature is Kelvin. So we need to convert this Kelvin to degrees Celsius first. Now, when I given the first temperature, which is theta 1, the temperature of that copper was, that is, the, te the copper was heated then the temperature was 16 degrees Celsius. Then it increased its temperature from 16 degrees Celsius to 116. So there is an increase in temperature that way. So what we need to do now is write your data, your temperature out, which is 16 degrees Celsius. Then your theta 2, that's your final temperature after it has been heated, which is what? 116 degrees Celsius. So what we need to do now is convert this Celsius to Kelvin. And a simple method of doing that is add 273 to it. So when we add 273 to this, we'll be having 389 Kelvin for the first temperature. Also, add 273 to 116. Here we'll be having um, okay, sorry, for the first one, we'll be having um, 16. Sorry, we'll be having 289 degrees H, um, Kelvin. And secondly, we'll be having 116 plus 2 73. Then here we should be having 9 here, then 8 and 389 Kelvin. Now, having converted your temperatures, the temperature 1 and temperature 2, to their right, um, te uh, to their right unit, which is Kelvin now. Now we write the remaining data out. Assuming that the specific heat capacity of copper is 400 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. So C is equal to 400 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. You can see in this unit, we have joules, we have kilogram, we have Kelvin. So obviously we have converted gram to kilogram, which is going with this. We have um, degree Celsius converted to Kelvin, which is going with this. Now what we need to do now is to calculate our quantity of heat. The question is calculate the quantity of heat which is required to increase the temperature of that copper from 16 degrees Celsius to 116 degrees Celsius. So what amount of heat do we need to increase that copper or of that mass of 500 gram? So the next thing we need to do now is to know that the formula to calculate the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of that copper now will be Q equals to M, that's your mass, multiply by your specific capacity, multiply by your change in temperature. So we have been given theta 1, theta 2. So our change in temperature will be theta 2 minus theta 1. So the quantity of heat, which, you're gonna, which will be in joules, will be equals to the mass in, gram, in kilogram, multiplied by your specific capacity in joules per kilogram per Kelvin, then multiply by your change in temperature, theta 2 minus theta 1. Now, what is our mass? Our mass is equal to 0 0.5 times our specific capacity is equal to 400 joules per kilogram per Kelvin. Then times our change in temperature is going to be 389 minus 289. 389 minus 289. 
So we'll be left with Q equals to 0 0.5 times 400 should give us 200 times 389 minus 289. There we have 100. Now we will be left with 200 times 100. There we have um, 320000. That gives us 20,000 joules. Now, 20,000 joules is the amount of heat needed to raise the temperature of copper, to increase the temperature of copper from 16 degrees Celsius to 116 degrees Celsius. Now, write, writing your answer in joules, because we already have it in thousands, so you have to convert your, um, your answer, which is your 20,000 joules to kilojoules. So we we'll be left with 20,000 joules converted to kilojoules divided by 1,000, or you multiply by 10 raised to power minus 3. So we'll be left with Q equals to 0 cancel 0, 0 cancel 0, 0 cancel 0. We are left with 20 kilojoules. So 20 kilojoules is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of that copper, rough mass 500 gram. Now, increasing the temperature from 16 to 116 degrees Celsius.